Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This market is dying. Dare I say, this market is basically dead. It's crazy, man, how much these prices have fallen off and it just continues to happen. Now I wanna talk about what's going on again, how I think the market could drop further today, especially these festival football path to glory cards from team two how they could fall further today because again more preview packs are coming and that's just going to supply the market even more now it's also sunday so we could have upgrade packs today and we also figured out what that card design really was again we've talked about it in the past couple weeks that colorful card design that looks exactly the same as these ptgs but it has all the colors in the background PS, PlayStation actually leaked it on their website and they sent out some emails with a description and they have a web page and I'll show you what that card is going to be about. Basically confirms more upgraded cards are coming probably after this week. So we'll talk about that as well. But again, the market just keeps dropping. You guys have seen the prices of these Festival Football PTG Team 2 cards with the supply again yesterday. It was insane. The price drops. Now, some of these cards are getting rare tonight and they're bouncing back up. This is the same fluctuation that happened on Friday, right? These cards got kind of low. Some of them rebounded back up. Pogba went from like low twos back up to two three. Today, of course, with France playing not so hot, getting a draw result, which is, of course, going to make that upgrade come later than we thought it initially would uh, for Pogba and all the French cards that are in this game, Path to Glory items. Uh, Pogba has dropped down literally a million coins. A million coin drop off on this PTG Pogba. It's insane how much drop off these cards had today, right? Joao Felix was like a million coins last night um, when he rebounded back. He's now 560k. You can absolutely fluctuation trade these cards when they're rare, but what you're going to see today on Sunday, I think is going to replicate sort of what we saw yesterday, whether that is cards that is in packs or whether that is stuff that is out of packs, I want to talk about some different things that we will see today. Now, of course, yesterday we knew that some of the supply was coming in hot, and you saw some of these cards dropping earlier in the day, headed into the content drop, right? You, you take a look at Wynaldum, he was all the way up to 400. Right before the content drop, he dropped all the way to 317k, but then, of course, proceeded with more landing ground and supply to go down to, to 250,000 coins. I really think you're going to see more of those undercuts and more of those prices dropping. If they rebound a bit tonight, that could be a potential flip situation. I bought a Firmino at 1.2 million coins flat, and at the moment, I believe he's about to be 1.3. I'm going to hold off and see if I can get 1.35, man, because if this sells, if this card's right here, he's kind of rebounded back in the last 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, he's back to 135, and I would take that as a huge W as a flip right there. I flipped the Joao Felix from 500k to 550, and I also bought an Eden Hazard at 668,000 coins, and right now he's about 720k. So, you know, some small flips, it's risky with these cards, though, and it's the only way and the only reason this is working right now is because these cards get really, really rare at night. These cards tend to get cheap. Uh, during that late game, during the day, like the, the third and final game of the day that usually is played uh, around the, what is that like? Um, for me in the US, it is, oh wow, there's an undercut on Firmino. Or sorry, never mind. I thought I was searching 1.2. Um, but like the 3 p.m. Eastern game, I think it's like the 8 p.m. UK game, that time frame. Those cards have been getting cheap on Friday and Saturday. Now today on Sunday, we don't actually have a late game. We have the first matches of Team of the Match Day 3 today on Sunday. Italy, Wales, Switzerland, Turkey. Anybody with Florenzi, anybody with Verratti, we could potentially see if Italy take their third W and they get nine points in the group stages. Um, they will get, those will be the first cards guaranteed their upgrade. And this will be the first day that we have cards of Path to Glory type potentially getting upgraded today. Now, Verratti's already going up, right? 455, this card price is already starting to rise. Um, you know, people are expecting that upgrade to happen very, very soon. So that's one thing that I'll be watching out for today. That card could rise and fall a little bit, but it's probably gonna rise and get to its peak, you know, maybe right before the start of that game or maybe during the game, if Italy go one nil up, two nil up. I think that might be the peak for that Verratti card because again, that card was invested a lot on Friday and the upgrade's not going to happen until um, this coming Friday, right? So today is Sunday. They win. He's not getting upgraded until next Friday, the 25th. So there's going to be a bit of a waiting period, a bit of a lag period in there. He'll still maintain a decent price, but I think what you might see is after the game, he could, he might reach a peak during or before, and then after the game drop off, 
a little bit as I think the whole market's gonna do again today. So these PTG cards as, as a whole, you might have some panic selling in the morning, but I also think since we're probably gonna see more lightning rounds today, and more people going into the store just like this and doing and doing their packs, right? Doing their preview packs, um, which again, we're gonna continue to talk about the supply. It's just insane, it's insane, it's insane. We talked about it last night and that was the big thing I told you guys, like the supply is really gonna drop these cards again. And it did, right? And I think that there will be lightning rounds today and I think you will see more drops in, in prices on these cards. I don't think the drops will be as insane, but it's gonna bring the whole market down with it, right? I mean, if we take a look as some of these out of pack special cards that have just absolutely dropped off so much in price. It is insane, right? I mean, we're looking at guys like this Zidane. Um, you know, this Vieira was like 650, almost 700,000 coins. He's now 500K flat. This Zidane I sold literally on Thursday after rewards at um, 1.04 mil. He's now down. He was This one went unbought at 800K on an open bid. Alfonso Davies was 600K like a week ago. He is now down. You've had some cards that have actually gone up though because of, of games that happened yesterday, right? You have the, the German cards, uh, Havertz and Navri. Those PTGs have gone up from team one. Those team one cards are a bit more rare. In my opinion, those are gonna bang more. Like Verratti's gonna have more of a, a, a rise when we get towards that third upgrade or he already has had a great rise. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to talk about too with what's going on in this game is it happened yesterday on Saturday is that everybody's just so scared about these prices dropping down. We talk about prices dropping more and more and you saw a huge panic on some of the out of pack specials yesterday. This guy, Bruno, went from 1.66 all the way down to 138 then proceeded to rebound to where he is now back into the one fives. Watch for crazy panic selling into the morning this morning on Sunday. We have, we might have some movements on cards like this once again, right? It's across the whole entire game too. Find some cards that were panic sold yesterday and if they reach those lows today, you might see a bit of a bounce back just because again, when you have hours of crazy panic listing and undercuts, you, do, you usually see a bounce back because some of these cards are still in demand a little bit for weekend league, uh, maybe not so much today on Sunday, but I've traded on so many Sundays this year where we've had panic selling and then a bounce back. So like this Alaba was down to 487, rebounded to 695. He's now right around 650, right? A rare card is your best opportunity to do this with. Now, I believe there were some icon moments cards that had crazy fluctuations as well. Um, I think I heard something about a, a prime Vieira. I was not actually active on the market early on Saturday to see these prices go crazy, crazy low. Um, here's a prime Vieira that went down. He actually, he's just stayed down. Uh, that wasn't a car that really rebounded, but you know, watch some of these out of packs icons, like the, the babies and the middles as well. But I would really focus on team of the seasons that get panic sold that are just very high demand cards. Rashford's 185, that's pretty low. Um, I would really watch those types of cards. And of course, your path to glories as well. Stuff that is hyped in this game, even some of the Comedy Bowl cards even, you could keep an eye on. Um, you know, Neymar has finally dropped off. Mbappe is starting to drop off some more. This Ben Yedder card is actually up. Di Maria was 300K flat. He's now 340. I think the Paredes links were helping him out a little bit there. Um, but yeah, I just think there's going to be more opportunity, like I just showed you with that Bruno Fernandez graph, is if you find a really rare card, even like this De Young, right? the links that he has to the Dembele card. You know, if, if you see this guy dropping down to like a million coins flat or maybe even under a mil, there might be potential there for a buy and then a sell later with, with a rebound, right? So that's kind of what I would watch for today if you're trying to trade. But trading is going to be risky. It's going to be very, very risky at this time of the game because a lot of people are selling stuff. A lot of people are getting stuff out of their, out of their teams and out of their clubs because they know that this stuff is probably going to be going a bit lower and it's like... You know, a lot of people today on Sundays too are going to be hoping for upgrade packs and upgrade packs just bring um, more coin drain to the market, more coin drain in the market than there already has been. Uh, and since these PTG cards just keep going lower, that's also what is bringing the market down with it is that these cards keep getting cheaper and cheaper. So people are selling a TOTS card they maybe used to go and try out one of these new ones, right? Because these cards are great. Uh, they have insane stats and they're just so affordable for most people on this game. Um, that you know they want to go out and they want to try them. So that's why we see a lot of this market dropping off. It's just basically the supply and um, just the vibe of the game with these preview packs. That's what everybody is worried about and focusing on and all that sort of stuff. Now, also today, uh, we're seeing fodder with all of the supply just get crazy low, right? We've got 83s back to 1.7. We've got 84s that are at 4,000 coins flat. Your 85s are getting low and your 86s and 87s are getting really, really cheap too. You know, 
with the supply probably still going to trickle in throughout the week as usually they update promo packs in the store um you know once every 24 hours i still think there's going to be supply coming out this week but this would be the perfect week for ea sports to drop an insane icon player pick SBC and just a ton of insane content we, like building off of last week even I think it could be a really really fun week if they did that and I think this would be the week to do it so if you want to club stocks and fodder again these prices are low enough to me that it's just kind of the normal weekly schedule and cycle right we see these these 84s go down to like 4,000 coins on the weekend and then during the week they rise back up to like 7 8k and I, I think we're at another place where hey I know we have had insane supply um, but SBCs are just king in this game. They really are. People love SBCs. If we had those, if we have more 85 plus, 84 plus player picks, 83 times 10, 82 times 8, you know, that kind of stuff, this stuff is going to go up again this week, in my opinion. And we might not have as insane of rises as last week, you know, when these 84s went to like 9K. Um, but I would, I would say a club stock today would be a great opportunity to get involved with some of that stuff so that's kind of how i feel on the market if you want to trade again i talked about but get on bids right bids are just so op they're just so great to get on right now because again even though a lot of people are logging on and doing their uh what you'll call preview packs right the preview packs and they're seeing what they can get and uh it's just supplying this game like mad um it also people really aren't sticking on the game for that long so wow 690 there is an undercut for hazard so mine, my Hazard is the second cheapest on the market right now, besides that one that just got listed at 690. So uh, looks like I might be getting a sale here on this card pretty quick. And we will take that. We will take that, right? Money moves when the market is down this much is very nice to have. So we'll take some Ws there as we can find them. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of the move for the market right now, in my opinion. Now, hopefully today for content, we do get some good SBCs. I mean, yesterday was a rare L for EA Sports. I mean, of all the players they could have chosen for the Belgian nationality on two wins already, you've got guys like Dorgan Hazard as uh, the Path to Glory card from Team 1, and from Team 2, you've got Eden Hazard, so the ha Hazard bros, and we have Batshuayi as the Belgian national player. I think this is an L for EA today or yesterday, and hopefully, um, you know, they, they make things straight. They straighten things up today on Sunday. Hopefully, 81-plus player picks, maybe the 82 to 88 upgrade, uh, maybe some icon player SBCs as well. Since we had uh, the 80, or what was it? We had the 82 times eight. We had, we had some pack that was related to like France and Germany and Brazil or something like that. So last week we had, we had Spain, Brazil, and Germany. Maybe this week we'll have France, England, and Netherlands or something like that. Maybe they'll drop one of those icon SBCs in the code. Maybe we'll see a France, a, a England, or a Dutch icon moments player SBC today as well so of course that opens the door for a lot of players like rio you know maybe maybe a viera I mean, we, we have viera in an icon swap so maybe not him but there's some big name icons uh that you know fall under those nations so that could be something maybe if they're going to keep going with nation themed icons and icon upgrades and stuff we might see that this week but hopefully another either ptg player SBC or a maybe a flashback um, I doubt we get two nation players back to back in a row, uh, but that is something I guess we could get as well. Now, I want to talk about this last thing, right? And I mentioned at the beginning of the video is these festival of football cards that EA Sports has basically leaked, right? This is on the PlayStation store. This is not a screenshot. This is legit. If you go to PlayStation.com and uh, or even on the actual store in FIFA, I think um, PlayStation has basically told us entirely what it's going to be. Uh, Path to Glory players have the potential to upgrade based on the wins, right? We knew that. But this card design here with the colors is going to be called Summer Stars. The top individual performers during this month of play will be featured in Summer Stars, where eligible players will receive large permanent upgrades based on how they compete for their team. So what that makes me think is since we're having PTG Team 2 right now, and of course this week, um, the 20th through the 23rd is match day three in the Euros and of course Copa America as well. Um, I think we'll be, except for Copa has like four uh, matches to be played in the group. Uh, I think we might have for content on this Friday, June 25th, we might actually have our first set of summer stars. So finally we figure out what this car design is. Uh, shout out to one of the viewers in the Twitch stream who actually got an email from PlayStation about this and went and looked at the webpage and was like, hey, yo, Nate, like, you know, PlayStation is showing us what the content's going to be. So, I mean, we are getting some sort of, you know, live up, not live, but um, man of the match type items, which in my opinion, I still would classify man of the matches that we got like in FIFA 18 
as a bit better than what we're seeing right now um, or what we're hearing with these Summer Stars players. But at least it's something, right? At least it is something that is really cool. And we'll take it, right? We'll take it. Those will be some cards that I think could be pretty cool. And of course, that card design is sick. So that'll be really awesome to see those out in this game. But for a lot of the out of packs market with, you know, a good way to trade in that is, of course, on the bids and with those fluctuations. But I still see a lot of stuff going lower. And I'm still not sold in these preview packs, man. I am still not sold in these preview packs. I mean, I think it's it's just crazy what this is going to do to the game. And I think EA is figuring this out that, you know, they're really going to control the market more than ever um, with these packs in FIFA next year. Now, the fact that they've added them to the game, usually when they add something to the game like this as a quote unquote trial run, because this is only going to be out until July 16th, um, I, I feel like this is going to be in FIFA 22. And uh, the more and more that I see it, it's just crazy, right? It's, it's going to make the market so much more volatile. I keep saying that, but it's really going to be the thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're still learning right now and seeing how this market reacts, but EA is going to have to water down the pack weight a bunch if they don't want Golden Bappe to be like 200K in the second week of FIFA. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's just going to bring so much supply to the market. That's going to change everything for FIFA 22 market wise, if that is the case. So as of right now, Sunday and FIFA's are always very interesting. Um, hopefully we get those upgrade packs. That would be hype. I think that the upgrade packs have to be good value though, right? Because again, um, what you're going to see is these cards are getting so cheap that people aren't going to want to go send, you know, as many coins into upgrades potentially if the cards are so much cheaper, you know, even there's some really good players in here, they'll still do them. Um, but if you want a no risk investment there, I think rare golds are like 700 coins. And I, I still think we 100% get some sort of upgrade pack today. Not sure what that's going to be. Um, and if this Firmino sells at 1.3, then I'm going to list mine up at 1349 and take my money. So I'm kind of watching that card like a hawk right now. But gold gold rares are cheap. They're basically discard. So, or maybe, maybe 750, 800. Basically, they're pretty cheap. So get those on bid if you want to invest in some of those or get ready for some upgrade packs. If there's anybody in team two that you would want to try to pack. So, that's kind of the video for today, boys. But I think this market goes a little bit lower. There's probably going to be more panic selling. People are losing so many coins. They don't know what to do. I'm in that boat as well, right? We're just trying to make some of it back, which we just did by selling this hazard. That's a GG. And uh, I still have my Carlos Albertos to sell, which I'm losing coins on there. But we are making coins on this Firmino. We are making coins on that Dobinson and the Yaziki as well. Dobinson, we got at 95K during that panic. Uh, Columbia play pretty soon as well. So if we can get a W there, we'll make some coins for sure. So trading is trading is a little risky, but you know what? It's a very crazy time in the market and it's it's still fun in my opinion. It's still pretty fun. Um, it just hurts a little bit when you're losing a lot of coins. So that's the video for today on Sunday, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.